archery in the form of bow and arrows in the Roman society was a game changer. They used their bows and arrows in warfare, hunting and entertainment. This made it an exquisite necessity in the Roman society as it underscored protection, survival and economic livelihood and societal bonding, especially. When used for entertainment purposes, let's delve into the impotence of this fascinating piece of ancient technology in the ancient Roman society and how it managed to circumvent the role of culture as it was an important symbol of power and status. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as we unveil this ancient piece of weaponry. The use of bows and arrows within the Roman society began when they came in contact with the Etruscan 700500 BC. For the control of the Italian peninsula, most of their archery practices were adopted during this contact. Those practices were then incorporated into their own military and hunting activities. Composite bows came into use in the Roman society as soon as the Greeks like the Scythians from the north east knew of the composite bows. They made use of a variety of arrows like the broadhead arrows for hunting and the bodskin arrows for piercing armor. The Roman archers were organized into specialized units known as Sagittarii and were generally deployed on the flanks of the battle line. Bows can be classified into two broad categories. The simple bow which were made if a simple single wooden piece tied with a string made of leather or sinew and the bow strengthened with sinew in order to prevent them from breaking and also to increase their efficiency. Secondly, the composite bows or the reflex bows. They generally combined layers of horn, wood and sinew in order to ease movement and the efficient transfer of energy. Stored in the bow, it was difficult to shoot with a simple bow even though the bows that have managed to survive till this day are mainly beautiful pieces of gifts or spoils of war left by hostile or friendly nomadic people in the form of Hungarian composite. Bows recurve, they were used as supplements to swords and lances, but amazingly, T. The Sagittarii used it as their primary weapon. Wooden bows were used for training, but also simple self bows were efficient, and the drawing distance from the stave to air was generally around 700 mm. The weight of the arrow and the drag affected the level of penetrations which also depended on the weight and design of the either broad head or trolobate design made to cut as much flesh as possible but skin could penetrate shields and armor the weight weight the arrow head affect the distance it can be shot for example light 40 grams arrow could travel 200 meters from atlb bow and they have the greatest velocity during the first 50 meters of flight and were used at close range the shaft had parallel sides but were tampered slightly at the fletchings widening at the knot to prevent 